They say appearances can be deceiving. And we found a panhandle kitchen that proves it. On most days, you'll find homemaker Callie Alvarado up to her elbows in freshly mixed dough. At first glance, you might think she's baking cookies, but actually, Callie is preparing her canvas. I'm not really a baker. I'm more of an artist, I would think. Like, I like to draw and sketch. And so the baking is the work part. And once I get the baking done, then I draw on my cookies. The cookies, my palette, and the, the icings are my paints. With the precision of a chemist in the eye of a Disney animator, Callie painstakingly transforms mere sugar cookies into brightly colored masterpieces. Each one is a handmade, homemade work of art that takes up to an hour to finish, or about five seconds. This looks good. All this trouble to make these things and then people walk in, pick them up and just take a big honk out of them? No, actually I want them to finish. It bothers me more whenever I see a kid eat one and throw them in the trash than, or take one by, you know, because they're at a party and they have cake. And I always tell them, I have a rule. If I spend all this time making these cookies, you have to eat them. So you'd rather I eat it than Oh not. yeah, I want you to eat them. Well, you don't have to tell us twice. Eating is the easy part, but it's the price of a custom cookie that some folks may not be able to swallow. How much would a dozen of your cookies cost? Um, I usually would sell them for about $45 a dozen. $45 a dozen? Yes, I get that a lot. Um, they're very, very labor intensive. And if you, if you haven't made them before, it's hard to understand. These cookies are like a car. You know, there's two different kinds of people. You can buy a Toyota and it's a great and wonderful car, but there's people that would rather have a Lexus. And these cookies are for the people that would rather these are have Lexus a Lexus. Cookies. Yes, exactly. They're cookies for people that want a handmade touch. Well, let me tell you something. This right here, that's a Rolls Royce. Callie's obsession with designer desserts goes way beyond the kitchen. Thanks to the internet, she's found an entire community of cookie-holics who swap photos, share tips, and try to one-up each other with creativity. Callie has become a bit of a celebrity among them, running one of the top blogs for at-home decorators. You make a lot of cookies, but you're not baking for, for the general public for the most part. No, um, I actually blog about it, and um, you I like blog about it. Yes, like I write. I have a website, and um, I write a, pretty much what's on my mind that day. Like whatever I decide to do, I'll just write it down and tell people how I did it, and, and it's it's a lot of fun. On a day-to-day -day basis, I probably get 10 to 12,000 hits a day. Halloween, Christmas, 4th of July. It seems there's always a holiday right around the corner and a fresh batch of theme cookies cooling on the racks. Customer orders and an online audience keep this artistic baker happily busy year round. She gets to explore her creative side, impress friends and family, and earn some extra dough. And when Callie Alvarado inspires another artist, well, that's just the icing on the cookie. There's nothing more inspiring than um, somebody emailing you and telling them that you gave them the encouragement or the confidence to do something that they didn't think they were capable of doing. That's a good feeling. 